Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Farm. In today's video, we will study introductory topics of pharmacology. That is definition, historical landmarks and scope of pharmacology. These three topics we will cover in this video. This is coming under your semester for pharmacology in the first unit that is general pharmacology, introduction to pharmacology. In that chapter, this topic is coming. So, first of all, we will see definition, then we will see historical landmarks, then in the last, we will see scope of pharmacology. Before going into details, in your semester 4, you have to study total 5 units in the pharmacology. The first two units are belonging to the general pharmacology. In the third unit, you have to study drugs which is acting on the peripheral nervous system, and fourth and fifth unit is drugs which is acting on central nervous system. These are the five units you have to study in the semester for pharmacology subject. So first of all, the definition of pharmacology. The word pharmacology is came from two words that is pharmacon and logos. Pharmacon and logos. Pharmacon means drug. Logos means study or science. So these two words are combined and the term pharmacology is came okay pharmacology is came from pharmacon that is drug and logos that is means study or science so these two words combined each other and came pharmacology the term pharmacology so what is the pharmacology it is the science of drug that is it is the study or science of drug that is the pharmacology Okay, the exact definition of pharmacology is it is the branch of medicine, it is the branch of medicine which is concerned with the uses, effects, and modes of action of drugs. That is the pharmacology. What is pharmacology? Pharmacology is a branch of medicine which is concerned with the uses, effects, and mode of action of drugs. It is concerned with the uses of the drugs, effects of the drug and modes of action of the drugs. These three main points are included in, in this pharmacology. That is branch of medicine concerned with the uses, effects and modes of action of drug. So pharmacology has got two main divisions that is pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. So what you mean by pharmacodynamics and what you mean by pharmacokinetics? You will get the meaning of the pharmacodynamics from the word itself. So pharmaco means that you have already studied that is drug. Dynamics. Dynamics means the power. Power. Okay. So pharmacodynamics means the power of drug. What is the ability of the drug? What this drug will do in the body? That is the pharmacodynamics. The second division is pharmacokinetics. What you mean by pharmacokinetics? Pharmacon means drug that we already studied here. Pharmacon means drug. Kinetics means movement. So pharmacokinetics means the movement of the drug in the body. How the drug is moving in the body when we are taking orally or even when we are taking as parenterally as injection also, how these drugs are moving how the how is its pathway that is the pharmacokinetics so pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics are the two main division of the pharmacology so pharmacodynamics pharmacodynamics means what the drug does to the body what the drug does to the body that is the power of the drug what the drug has action in the body it includes physiological and biochemical effects and their MOA that is mechanism of action. In this pharmacodynamics we will study the mechanism of action of medicine, mechanism of action of drugs. The second one pharmacokinetics that is what body does to the drug, what body does to the drug that is it includes ADME of the drug. ADME means absorption distribution, metabolism and excretion. How the drug is absorbed into the systemic circulation, how the drug is distributed, 
how the drug is metabolized and how it is excreted from the body that is the ADME of the drug that is pharmacokinetics these are the two main division so what we studied now what is pharmacology that is came from two words pharmacon and logos pharmacon means drug logos means study or science then we studied the definition definition is branch of medicine which is concerned with the uses effects and modes of action of the drug then pharmacology has got two main division that is pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics dynamics means power kinetics means movement so pharmacodynamics means what drug does to the body pharmacokinetics means what body does to the drug that is ADME is coming under pharmacokinetics and mechanism of action is coming under pharmacodynamics before going into the next topic, we should understand what is the meaning of a drug. Drug we are using for the treatment of some diseases. Suppose we have got fever, at that time we are taking paracetamol for reducing the temperature, for reducing the body temperature into the normal level. So drug is used here for the treatment of the fever. So drug is used for a treatment of disease. Drug we are using for the prevention of some diseases also. In childhood we got BCG vaccination against the tuberculosis. This is this vaccination is against the tuberculosis. We didn't get the tuberculosis at that time, but the body is preventing the tuberculosis by getting through vaccinated. The next one drug is used for the diagnosis. Sometimes in radiography, the abdominal region is not get clear vision in the x-rays. At that time, doctor will suggest to take bismuth sulfide. So, by taking this bismuth sulfide, the doctor will get the clear vision of the abdomen through the x-rays. So, in that case, the drug is used for the diagnosis. So, what is the drug? Drug is a single active chemical entity present in a medicine that is used for Diagnosis, Prevention, Treatment or Cure of a Disease. So what is the drug? Drug is a single active chemical entity present in a medicine which is used for the diagnosis, prevention and treatment or cure of a disease. So that is the drug. So these three points we already covered. This is the simple definition of the drug. So according to the WHO, drug is any substance or product that is used or intended to be used to modify or to explore the physiological system or pathological state for the benefit of the recipient. That is the WHO definition of the drug. So what is the drug? According to the WHO, drug is the any substance or product that is used or intended to be used to explore or to modify physiological system or pathological stage for the benefit of recipient. That is the drug. So let's have a look on historical landmarks. The first scientist is Rudolf Buchheim. Rudolf Buchheim made the first institute for the pharmacology. Rudolf Buchheim was the person, was the scientist who made the first institute of pharmacology. The second person, that is Oswald Schmidberg, is very important. He is known as father of pharmacology. Who is the father of pharmacology? Oswald Schmidberg. Oswald Schmidberg is considered as father of pharmacology or founder of modern pharmacology. His study was based on measurement of chloroform in blood. The third scientist 
is John Jacob Abel. He isolated epinephrine and also he prepared pure crystalline insulin. Next scientist Paul Ulrich. He is considered as the father of chemotherapy. He is the father of chemotherapy. Paul Ehrlich. Next scientist that is Alexander Fleming. We know that penicillin is discovered by Alexander Fleming. Penicillin. I don't want to tell the story of uh, uh, penicillin discovery. Hope you know this thing. It's an interesting story. The next one is James Black. James Black discovered propranolol. It is a beta blocker. Maybe you know the beta blocker or since uh, you are just started the pharmacology this is a maybe this is a new thing beta blockers are used in the case of heart diseases we will study these medicines in the CVS cardiovascular system the next person Ram Nath Chopra Ram Nath Chopra he is considered as father of Indian pharmacology these are the main seven scientists you have to write it down in the historical landmarks of pharmacology okay you understood so the first one Rudolf Bouquet second one Oswald Schmidberg he is considered as father of pharmacology or founder of modern pharmacology the third person John Jacob Ebel Paul Ehrlich, Alexander Fleming, James Black and the last person Ram Nath Chopra. These are the most important seven scientists in case of historical landmarks of pharmacology.